I'm with Professor Peter Jones, who is a fellow of CHT. What lessons should we learn from how cities have developed, for how we develop the cities of, of the future, mm -hmm. particularly when we think about uh, new technologies such as autonomous vehicles? I think the basic point is that um, Western European cities, if you like, have gone through an evolution from trying after the Second World War to adapt the city to cope with a car, to recognising there's limits to that and that really engineers and planners around moving people around, not moving metal boxes around, and then more recently recognising that to provide attractive cities that will attract talent and be pleasant places to live in, we have to make cities very livable. And to do that, we've changed the sort of policies and measures that we've introduced over the years. And the point really, I think, is, is to say that um, the sort of city that we develop depends on the city we want. Um, and if we want a, a city that will function with everybody driving, we can build that city. If we want a city built around place where sustainable mobility is supporting that, we can do that. So the decisions are ours, and technology is moving very quickly now, and there is a risk that we move into a situation where the technology is leading. And, and I think the, the cities are beginning to realise that they have to set the vision and set the standard, and the technology should feed into that uh, so it actually supports what the city wants rather than leading where the city goes.